Okay, so today I'm going to show you another one of my favourite apps. This is called Classkick and luckily for us, because of the school closures, they're giving out some more pro um, subscriptions. But just for the basic version, you prep an assignment, the students work on their devices, everyone can give feedback, including the students, and the teachers see everything that's happening. So once you log in and you're on the first page, this is the home page, and the two important par parts of um, ClassKick are the assignments and the rosters. So first of all, I'll show you how to um, use ClassKick, and then I'll show you how to make an assignment. So the first one is they've already got an assignment uploaded onto there, which is called Students Checking Out Class Kick. So this is a good assignment to give to your students if they just want to see how it all works. So the first thing you're going to do is assign that. Now, I've already created a couple of classes as I was practicing for this video, um, but let me just create another one. So this is called, um, this is where you assign a roster. So you create a new roster and you put in there, we're on class three now and you just click OK and now you'll see that that class has been created over here. Each of your classes can have a different code so maybe you want to show um, the same worksheet to three classes then obviously you can have three codes over there. Um, when you have the basic version you get a different code for each worksheet but if you have the pro version then every time you upload the students can have the same code and they can see all of the worksheets at the same time. Um, if you, um, even when the student has finished and they've handed their work in, they can use this code and go back in and check their work afterwards as well. Then over here, you've got some options about grades, uh, whether you're going to grade this or not, whether you're going to allow helpers or not. Helpers is where another student will be able to help them if you're not available. So usually I keep that turned on, but obviously you've got to check with the behavior of your class whether they can um, do that. Hide means once they've done the worksheet, you can either hide it or you can unhide it. Um, again, this is um, to give them access or not access after they've done the work. And then they've got um, you've got a lock button so you can make it so that they can't do any more work on that after a certain time so maybe if you were setting this as a timed work or some kind of project or some homework submission that had a time to it then you would use this one so let's just say that the student is in class three now so i'm going to go into a student um i'm going to go into a student account so i'm going to log in as a student uh, Classkick does work better in Google Chrome, but um, we've, we haven't got that, so we're just going to use this for now. Um, so the code is 8LLFHZ, so as a student, I'm going to write in there ALLFHZ, um, and <laughs> I've hidden the assignment, so let me just unhide that. Um, so let's see, can I log in now? FHZ. And now I can put in my name and I can actually join. So as you can see now, I'm a student and I'm joining the class. I'm joining, um, I'm, I'm going to be able to see the assignment that the teacher has left on there. So this is the first page, then I can just move to slide two. And it says, write your name in green by adding a text box. So it just gives them a bit of practice in being able to uh, manipulate the tools on here so obviously once they've written their name they're going to change it into green um, and then obviously there's different little things that they can do you can even get them to record um, their name where they're from so this is the microphone tool at the top they can even um, have a worksheet where you can have them draw on there if you want um, now it says here, circle somewhere in the world that you'd like to travel. So they want them to use a red pen. So if you look over here, you just choose a red pen. Let me just say Australia. And now it says, click the hand raise button to be checked. So over here, they can actually get the teacher to help or um, check the work. Please check. So if you have a look here, it says the student raised their hand for a check. So if you have a look back on the teacher's um, page, she can view the work. And over here, sorry, I need to go back to the right one. Assign. We need to view this one. 
So um, we're going to view the work and as you can see, I can just click on the student themselves and see whether they've done the work or I can go directly to the page that is green that's asking me where the student's asking me to check. I can see, yeah, well done, they've done the work. I'm going to change this to a green pen so I can check it. Now here um, is another cool thing. You can add stickers as a teacher. So over here are the stickers. Now the stickers I use a lot. Um, you can add new stickers that are actually better for you, um, that are more kind of personalized, or you can use one of these stickers that's already created. So for example, if I wanna put the owl sticker in this one, I don't know why it's not working. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, you can see that I've added an owl sticker on there. Use evidence to support your claim. Oh, it's just a random sticker. But anyway, you get the idea. So once you've done that, once you've done that and you've seen how it all works, um, there's the next slide, number six. So again, um, these are actually um, images that you can move around so you can move them with the selector tool. Again, you've just got to play around with this and see how it all works. And then you can write down what, what you or they think of Classkick. Another awesome thing in here is, for example, here, uh, you have to use a selector tool, for example. Maybe a student know, doesn't, doesn't know what that is or how to use it. They can go in here and they can actually raise their hand. So you can see... Oh, sorry, I'm in the teacher mode. Let me go into the student mode. So let me say that I'm on this slide over here and I don't know how to do this. So I'm going to write, please help. Now, the good thing about Classkick is that the other students will also see that somebody has got a hand raised. So they can actually help. So somebody else can actually write there. Um, you know, they can click on the person and they can actually say, OK, I'm going to help Mrs. Adams on this one. Maybe if you write a message here, you know, I'm stuck on the selector tool or where is the selector tool? Um, the other person knows exactly what you need. So then they're able to help you in a in a much better way. So again, this is like peer assessment, teacher assessment. Once the students have done all of the work and you want to check that they've done it you can get a whole you'll get all of the class in this page here so you can very easily check um, if you've assigned different pages different points you can actually mark them give them a mark and in the sticker section you can actually um, add stickers um, you can actually make your own stickers that go with whatever you want to do so for example for us it might be something like use a scientific keyword for example um, and that's basically it. That's how you use Classkick. Now, if I go back to the teacher one, I'll just show you how to add your own assignment. So this is back on the home page. Um, we're in assignments. Now you can add an assignment from here. You can put a blank assignment. That's where you've just got a blank piece of paper where you can do the work. You can create an assignment from a file. So I'm gonna go to desktop and over here, I've got um, a file that I just want to add. Now this file has got four pages and I want all of the pages to be imported. And again, you can write in here, um, you know, you can decide whether you want all of them or you want one of them, whatever, it's up to you. And you can actually just click next. Sorry, I think I've um, pressed something by accident. Okay, so now you've come into here and you're actually importing your worksheet into Classkick. So once you've imported that worksheet, you can then click on it, and then you're going to assign a roster. So this is the worksheet. You're gonna give it a title. You know, I'll just call it new assignment for now. Choose a subject. I'm just choosing random things to make it quick. Now you can choose whether you wanna share it with your colleagues or whether you wanna make it private. Um, so no one will, uh, will be able to see the copy. You can now move these slides, add any slides that you want, whatever you want to do, or assign a roster. When you assign the roster from this section over here, 
you can then choose which class you want to do this work. So the sample is the default one, that's just the pretend example one. You can have class one, two or three, any of the classes that we added earlier on. And now that I've done that and I've given them, um, I've chosen class one, then the class code will come over here. So this is the class code that the students will use to enter into class kick and make sure that they can do the work. Like I said earlier, if you've got the basic version, then it will work with, um, and they'll have to have a new code every time. But if you have the other version, then they'll get um, uh, one code that they will probably use um, the whole time. So I hope that was a quick, basic overview. Um, and you learn how to use class kick within 10 minutes. Um, let me know if there's any comments or anything that you'd like to know further. Please like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you. Bye.